Hey guys, Aqua Duels here. So today I got finally got my hands on the new uh, Speed Duel Starter Decks, Ultimate Predators. Um, I actually did end up ordering my three online because it was actually significantly cheaper. Um, like it almost cost like I got three of them for almost uh, the full cost of two of them, what two of them go for retail. So. We're going to go ahead and go into this, um, just open this real quick. Um, okay, and, oh, there's the, uh, oh, there's not really a rule book, okay. Let's look at the mat real quick. We got perfectly, uh, Ultimate Great Moth over here. Then on the other side we got, uh, was it uh, Dark Serpent something or Dragon something like that? There we go. And then, oh, okay. So yeah, they put the uh, rules and such on the back of the mat this time. So eh, I guess that's kind of cool. But um, so and no boxes, this mini boxes either this time. They uh, went back to the um typical like uh what they do for the regular star decks where they just kind of saran wrap it um or just wrap it with plastic so uh excuse me a little disappointed with that um i did like the little boxes they did for the first ones but we do have these really cool like cover art card things whatever here which i do like um actually i might keep my weevil ones to use as tokens um That'd be really cool, so I'm going to try to, if I can open this, we're going to start with the Weevil one, because that's what I'm actually looking forward to the most out of these. Um, not really too interested in Rex. Um, to be honest, if Heatwave wasn't getting a reprint in this, I probably wouldn't open these. I'd probably just sell the Rex ones. Well, I'd probably open one for the video, but, so, really cool little art card I like here, you know, just cover card, and then we got, for the Ultra Rare, uh, Jar of Abris, I think it would have been really cool if it was, um, what you call it, uh, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth for Weevil, and then, uh, the Ace Monster they got for Rex, this guy, I can't remember his name still, I think that would have been a better, um, thing to do instead like I would have been fine if this was a common it's already been printed as a common a couple times so um then for the skills we do have hyper metamorphosis which is basically ultra cocoon of evolution and then hidden parasite which makes every insect mon or every monster on the field insect for the turn so those are the skills put those right there with the um the little there we go kind of like get this laid out a little bit so yeah there so then we got perfectly ultimate great moth um pretty nice it's only been reprinted i think two times uh petite moth same thing um big insect basic insect winged cleaver uh ko uh, kumo toko i can never pronounce this guy's name um alien sec or alien section um, so something interesting about this guy I want to point out real quick. Um, he's actually never been print, uh, physically printed. He is actually from the old video games, which I do like it when they do stuff like this. Um, even though he's not good, he's not useful, it's still really awesome to me that they, um, kind of just looking like, oh, we haven't printed this yet. And, you know, it's like, um, Firewing Pegasus didn't get printed until 2004, or 2012, which I thought was cool. Um, just a really bad vanilla that I liked, so really awesome they do stuff like this. Um, then we have Insect Queen. Um, would have been cool if they put um, Metamorphosed Insect Queen in here. Uh, she's actually just better, but I mean, this isn't bad. Gains 200 attack for each uh, Insect Monster on the field. Cannot declare an attack unless you tribute one. And then uh, during the end phase, if this car was destroyed by opponent's battle uh, monster by battle, you special summon an insect token, which is really nice. Uh, cocoon of Ultra or Cocoon of Evolution. Um, don't really see why they threw this in here, um, considering we do have the one, uh, the one skill over here, and 
They only put in a uh, perfectly alternate Great Moth for the Evolution line, so that was just a waste of a slot in my opinion. Uh, Man Eater Bug, really good, solid uh, insect monster from back in the day. You just it flips, you just destroy a uh, monster on the field. Pin Chopper, another really good, solid old school card. Uh, insect Princess. Um, <laughs> I actually think it like it's funny because I think there's like some really stupid things you could do with uh, hidden parasite with this card because she gains 500 attack for each uh, insect monster she destroys by battle, so that's really cool. Uh, go, we have a Gokapon, nice little way to uh, search for some stuff uh, whenever it gets destroyed by battle, and then another Gokapon. That's pretty cool. They threw two of those in there. Um, B-List Soldier, actually a card that's never been reprinted. Uh, you can just tribute him in a face-up insect and draw two cards, so that's pretty nice. Uh, B-Tron, actually really, really, also another good little card here that's never gotten a reprint. Um, it's in the face of Spell of Trapping until the graveyard. You target level 4 lore insect in your graveyard and special summon it in defense position, so that's actually really nice. Uh, we got Laser Armor Cannon, or Laser Cannon Armor. Um, I think it's kind of weird they didn't print the big one, the uh, bigger version of this in this. Uh, it's actually in the set, which I did order um, a couple cards from there that I'm waiting. I'm still waiting on. Um, then we got Forest, Verdant Sanctuary, really good just inset card here that's never been reprinted. Um, don't know what it does. Uh, when a face up insect is destroyed by battle or card effect and sends the graveyard, its controller can add one insect monster with the same level um, as destroyed one from their deck to their hand. Really, really good little consistency booster here. Really awesome. So, and then uh, insect neglect, another card that's just never gotten a reprint. Um, basically, you can banish an insect from your graveyard to negate an attack. Worm bait, uh, enchanting fitting room, dark factory of mask production, amulet of ambition. Ooh, I'm actually really curious to see how this, how well this works in uh, speed duels. That's kind of interesting because it is a pretty um, just powerful equipped spell. So um, if you don't know what it does, um, you equip it to only a normal, and then it gains. Uh, if it does battle with a monster that's of a higher level. Um, the monster you control gains 500 attack for each difference in levels. So if I was finding a monster that had two levels more, it gains a thousand. Really, really crazy thinking about it. The fact they'd throw this in here. Uh, White Elephant's Gift, Eradicating Aerosol. Spy uh, actually, this has never gotten reprinted too, I believe. So um, Spider Egg, another card that's never gotten a reprint. Uh, if they, your opponent clears a direct attack, well, you have three or more insect monsters in your graveyard. Uh, negate the attack, and if you do, special summon three spire tokens. Level 1, 100 attack and defense and attack position. So, um, that with, uh, where's Amulet of Abition? It seems pretty solid. Uh, Corrosive Scales. That's from the, um, Legendary Duelist Ancient Millennium set. Um, Adhesion Trap Hole. And then order to smash. So that's all we got here for Weevil. Um, like all in all, this is actually pretty. If I can pick these, um, there we go. It's like pretty solid for a starter deck, in my opinion. I think um, for speed duels, I think that's pretty pretty good. Um, really happy to see see this like even if um i know there's just like i think there's honestly just some cards in here where, like even if you don't play speed duels um there's actually some really good reprints in here so uh can i get this opened maybe maybe not um man let me find the uh huh. I, one of the reasons why i don't like um these because I it's like a pain to get these things open at least in my opinion I think I had something going on here can I can I do it nope nope oh wait wait yeah I think right here I can get it I can grab it 
You know what? I know what I'll do. Um, one second, guys. Okay. Jeez, I didn't think I'd be struggling. Wait, what? Oh, wow. Wow. After I went to go get something to help break this open, the plastic open, there's a little tab piece that was already, wow. Wow, that's, I feel like I'm the only one who's struggled that much trying to open one of these, so. Um, another really cool little uh, cover art card there. Um, I do like the Weevil one better, though. So then for the Ultra Air, we got Order to Charge. Um, actually, what does this card even do? Because I'm not familiar with it, even though I'm an old school player. Uh, target one, non-token, normal monster you control. Tribute that normal monster, and if you do destroy one card on your, uh, your opponent controls. Oh, jeez, that's actually, seems like it'd be really good with the Weevil one, because there's a lot of, uh, vanillas in there. So, yeah, whew, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, Dinosaur Kingdom. And Nightmare Sonic Blast, again, I feel like the skill is really bad. Like, it's it's cool and janky, but there's no way to effectively, I feel, turbo out Serpent Night Dragon while taking full, being able to take full advantage of this skill. Uh, but if I'm wrong, hey, let me know in the comments um, just how I feel about it. So we got Serpent Night Dragon, Two-Headed King Rex, we got Irby, we got another Arby's. I know it's Irby. I wanted to say Arby's. Uh, I'm, I'm probably just going to start making, calling these dudes Arby from now on. Arby's. Um, <laughs> we got Crawling Dragon number two. Tomozaurus. Anthrosaurus. I actually really hate this card because of the uh, text on here. It says, This man like dinosaurs got high IQ even though he's lacking in the strength department. Kind of like you was if you had high IQ. Yeah. Like it's just so poorly written. Like, I guess it's supposed to be a joke, but it just bothers me. And then we got Black Tyran, uh, Black Tyranno. Um, it's an, I think it's an okay, uh, dino card for here. Uh, Super Ancient Dino Beast. <laughs> wow, I actually never, wow, <laughs> that's legit this card's name, huh? I actually saw a fake version of this recently, and I didn't know the card's name before, so yeah. Um, let's see. If you tribute summon this card in face attack position by tributing one dinosaur monster. Um, oh, you can. Okay. Then, when a dinosaur is special summoned from the graveyard while this monster's on the field, except during damage step, you draw a card. Okay, so I guess that's not terrible. Um, we got Mad Sword Beast. Gilosaurus. Um, Gale Lizard, okay, this thing's actually good. Uh, flip, if you target one monster your opponent controls, return that to the hand. I feel like this is probably going to be a card that can show up in some control decks here for d speed duels. Um, Dark Dice, uh, Dark Diceratops. Hyper Hammerhead. Element Saurus. Black Stego. Uh, Gentle Mander. Um, really good card, honestly. Um, we got Ray's Body Heat. Ultra Evolution Pill. So this one is a uh, Tribute 1 Reptile Monster. Special Summon 1 Dinosaur from your hand. Actually, how many... So there's two... Wow, they only gave you... They only gave us... Wow, we only got two reptiles in here? Wow, okay. Um, then we got Space Time Transcendence, Cost Down, Summoner's Art, a good reprint. Um, White Elephant's Gift again. Heat Wave, here we go. This is a whole reason why I was actually, like, keeping, I was, gonna, I was thinking probably on keeping, um, the starter deck for, uh, what, uh, what you call it, uh, Weevil, not Weevil, um, <laughs> Rex, I'm so sorry. Um, this card's actually never been reprinted, and I think bef um, just the rares alone were probably, I think, uh, like five to eight bucks or something like that. I can't remember. Somewhere around there, though. But really awesome to see this card get reprinted. It's such a strong card, and I'm actually really curious to see how well it'll duel in speed duels. 
Uh, another card advance. Uh, another card advance. Uh, hunting instinct or in instinct. Reinforcements. Pharaoh's treasure. And lights are limit impulse. So, um, not saying I do hate, I don't like this uh, deck right here. Um, I just wasn't super interested into uh, into Rex. It was actually Weevil. Weevil was the one I'm really wanting because I I love insects. Um, for those of you who do watch, you know my other videos on the channel. Um, I do have a couple uh, insects. Uh, what you call it? Um, deck profiles on here, so really looking forward to messing with this. I know there's at least a good three variants I'm seeing already, uh, just looking at the cards, what's in here, so thank you guys for watching. Sorry this video is dragged out kind of long, um, but hey, hope maybe you guys kind of learned something with like the random things I knew, so uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Now, if you guys want to comment, I want I like to know what... Um, what speed duel deck would you got? Do you guys like? Would like to see the most? Um, and and such. Uh, what were what were you guys excited for the most? I was really looking, really looking forward to Weevil. I will probably try out Rex though, just to get a feel for how it plays. Um, I probably won't pick up the big uh, big evolution or the uh, double evolution pill skill though, because uh, I don't want. I don't feel like I, I want. It's not really what I want to invest into as far as. Uh, this deck but um so yeah what would you guys what do you guys really want to see the most um and yeah if you guys haven't uh if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button um go ahead and hit it if you guys want to see more of my videos i uh, thank you guys for watching